Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, Brussels sprouts are not only good for you, but when baked, they are one of the most amazing vegetables around or roasted or sauteed. I don't care what you do with them. They're fantastic. Um, Kitchen LTO has taken it one step further, and executive chef Brooke Egger has created a recipe that includes preserved lemon rind. So stick with us here, because you're going to show us how to make the preserved lemon rind. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Welcome, so, by the way. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. You're, you've got an exciting story, too, the way that you got to LTO. Yeah, a little bit of cutthroatness. Here you go. Little... Cutthroat Kitchen. If you have not watched that show, you're, you'll watch it and you'll be addicted to it. Yeah, it's great. It's a fun show. Was it hard? It was, yeah, it was a little bit more like Price is Right of Cooking, but it was great. A little stressful? A little stressful, definitely. But not any more than a regular kitchen, right? Yeah, definitely <laughs> not more. Definitely not more. Okay, so this is one of your more popular sides, these Brussels Yes, it sprouts. is. It is. It has to do with the preserved lemons. The preserved lemons take about a month to do. What we do is we just cut the lemon in quarters and uh, pack it with salt and a few little spices. Okay, you're, so you're not cutting them all the way, just mm. enough to open it up to shove the Yeah, you want to keep them together. Uh, the juices will come out naturally, as you can see here. Um, but yeah, you just do it like that, and then all you have to use is the rind. So you're preserving, it's, it's, you're like brining them. You're not preserving them like with sugar and, and all that. No, there's no sugar. It's just a natural process. Uh, it's totally salt, and then you can add different spices. I have some uh, star anise here, some pink peppercorns, Szechuan salt, which I grind in-house, which is fun to use. Yeah? Yeah. How is it different? Um, well, I don't use black peppercorns in the kitchen at all. I only use Szechuan pepper because it's an aromatic. Oh. Yeah. It's fun. So it keeps everybody in like a good mood in your kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, smell. Okay, let's It's see. like flowers to your nose as opposed oh. to intense. Isn't that nice? That is beautiful. Yeah, it's fun. Okay. All right, so you add all those into uh, the lemons. The lemons, yes. Any water or anything? Or? No, 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 no. The water extracts itself, as you can see here. Wow. And uh, over this. about a month period, then they can preserve up to like three or four years if add in refrigeration. Really? Yes. Okay, and then why do we want to do this? What does this do to the flavor of the dish? Um, well, actually, it intensifies it, and you don't need to use the, the innards of the lemon at all. You only use the rind, which you see here. So it would be um, sort of like the zest of a lemon but this has been kind of on steroids. Cured in, steroids. Yeah. Yeah, totally on steroids. But it's uh it's great because then you take this. Does it take away any of the um the bitterness of it? Um not so much the bitterness, but it brings out the actual lemon flavor. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And you can use a little bit less. The Ooh, the lemon and the salt. That's yeah, good. Isn't that nice? Yes. You can use it across the board. You can use it in desserts, you can use it in drinks, whatever. And I would imagine it cuts down on the amount of salt that you would have to just use in the in the whole recipe. Absolutely. It cuts down on your sodium intake. It cuts down on uh, your abs your actual lemon usage. You can use just a tiny amount as you've tasted. Okay, not to sound like a killjoy, but can I buy these somewhere? You can, but the flavor is going to be more, um, I'd say, not so great. Not so great. Okay, yeah. so this is, but it's actually really easy to do at home. You just Super need to get a jar easy. like this. A jar like that, a little bit of salt. And you refrigerate them then while they're... No, just leave them out. Really? Yeah. Okay, very cool. All right, show us what, what comes next with the Brussels sprouts. What comes next, we clean up the Brussels. Make sure that you cut off the end of the Brussels. And then just half your Brussels sprouts. My son's girlfriend just texted me last night. She said, I've got Brussels sprouts. I don't know what to do with them. What should I do? And I wish I would have had this recipe to yeah. give her. Well, all you have to do is that after that, just toss it with a little bit of lemon or a little bit of olive oil, mm -hmm. a little bit of preserved lemon, throw them in the oven, 350 for about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. It's so boom. easy. Yeah, it's so super easy. easy. And you said this is one of the more popular um, side dishes. Give us an idea of what else people can expect when they come see you. Um, they can expect a lot can of I fun taste flavors. These while we're yes, standing please here. enjoy. Uh, I like to put a lot of exciting things. I'm just together. gonna use my fingers. We don't ever seem to have like um, silverware around here. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. So good. Just real flavors. I'm going to keep eating. Will you tell us more about LTO Kitchen? Uh, Kitchen LTO is limited time only. You can only get us for four months at a time. I have about just over a month left at Kitchen LTO. Does it make you sad? Don't you want to stay longer? Yes, I do. I'd love it. I wish they would change it to LTD. <laughs> That's a good idea. I know, right? Maybe we'll start another one and call it LTD. <laughs> that would be great. It would be a lot of fun. And uh, Trinity Groves is actually a really great spot to come you know, hang out. There's mm -hmm. a lot going on. And uh, there's a lot of flavors to be had. And the menu changes every four months with the chef. With the chef so. How would you describe your style of cooking? You know, that's kind of funny. Um, I had to ask my mentor what style of cooking I had. And she was like, you're kind of not stylized. You're just 
urban. Ooh, regional. you like free form it? Totally. That's the yeah. best kind of cooking ever. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna come see you. Over. Please do. This is fantastic. Okay, we'll get another run, uh, another fun recipe from uh, Chef Brooke next hour as we combine lamb chops and cotton candy. Yes. You're crazy. I try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stick around. When we come back, we're taking a look at some great last-minute deals for back-to-school fashion for the kiddos.